actually able to keep going. So I'm not even sure what happened there. Maybe somebody just moved dramatically in one of these cars. But it certainly sounds like a flat tire, but it is a ghost tire. Right now, though, football loves back off the track yet again, trying to get back on. And I'm trying to straight pulling in yet again, the wrong way down pit lane. Not the ideal thing to do. It might have been a slow flat fly through Detroit. The left front wheel is now getting fixed a flat attached to it. And right now, our leaders, Mimi Ferrari, with Sarah Sutherland driving, are trying to keep the car together. And I just got official word from MI2. It looks like Jimmy Nico Band is unfortunately saying we've got a blown motor control in. And they can't keep it to the end of the clear limit and they're blowing fuses now. So they are now out of the way because they can't keep the clear under control. They were right there on the edge of their fuse limits and they've gone over and they've paid dearly. They're now out of the way. That's right. And another flat from that to the future. Unbelievable. Marty will never get back to 1985 when we're just getting five tires. That is the second flat from here to the future. Free flag. We're back on the way. Unfortunately for the DeLorean of Hacks of the Future, they're going to have to rely on Moxie to bring it back. Right now, oh, it's the same flat tire. Oh, no, it's the same mini monster. Mini monster has the flat tire. Worst part of the track to get one, too. Another uh, caution, two flat tires in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, the endurance race is a race of attrition. This is a race where nothing makes it to the end. And right now, these teams are trying desperately to keep their power racers from falling to pieces. Unfortunately, it's not working out the best for others. We're going back to green. Pete takes the green. Nope, he's going, pulling over. Motor Series Rex is going over now. Uh-oh, looks like we got black flag from the green unit or something. Oh, he didn't have a chin strap on in his helmet. Safety gives him button, but it only works if you hold it properly. He's got to do push-ups. Oh, uh, Motor Series Rex is getting penalized for push-ups right now. Audrey got a warning for that from Milwaukee, and now Pete got the penalty. She's got her to strap on, and she's been really quick about that. Meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen, Atomic Chibi, which sounds like a cement mixer with a toaster inside of it, is actually completing quite a few walks right now. They're finally getting some consistency out of that car, and they're moving their way up to Place as we speak. In fact, I got some chain and some liquid wrench for the Tom and Judy if they need it. Yeah, I think they could use some liquid wrench uh, to quiet that noise. Oh, the guy made me kill me. Oh, oh, he the wheel! He lost the wheel! He, lo he drove the wheel right off his car. Patrick, I think, I think we're cursed. Every time we bring up a car that isn't the leader, something happens to them. And then looked like the entire hub came off his car. Yeah, that wasn't just the tire, that was the hub shearing off. That is a thing. Green flag now, green flag. Mm -hmm. Green flag, but definitely not full speed. And on the court of Detroit, wants 412 to get your Moxie votes. He's trying to help them out. Are you delivering the piece to them? Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, because the Batmobile must have lost more than a wheel, they're not in the race pretty much anymore. Army Corps Detroit has grabbed their transponder and is running into that party to the house of the Minute and a half to the last driver change. Minute and a half to the last driver change. Army Corps will be a wonderful wild card. A wonderful Detroit hacker space. They put on a great party, folks. As you can see, their entry, known as Banana Boat, Murder Banana, and now, I don't know, it's a bunch of amps. I call him DJ Party Crashers. DJ Party Crash is a great name for branding out there. Oh no, I'm uh -huh, back there, I agree, but they're getting in the way. Oh no! Oh, God, for uh -huh. But they got me in the Green flag. Oh, here's that. 
through Lexus. Are they really just supporting the car off the track? Ladies and gentlemen, five players on the track right now. We started with 17. We've gone down to five. One, two, three, four, uh, four and a half, and uh, five. Meanwhile, Army Corps having a great time out there. 20 seconds to drive this way. Amazing passing by the leaders there. Him and Ferrari taking the lead there. Or the, to the, keeping the lead, I should say. Yeah, right now, those are all the top of the first and second right there. But Nimby Ferrari is ahead by a couple of laps. So it's a two, two, one. Uh, last driver change, last driver change. Patrick, usually we have a mad dash for the pits, but most of the cars are already in the pits. The maximum amount of attrition here is taking a toll on these tiny little toys. It's absolutely incredible what we're witnessing here. But right now, our leaders, Nimby Ferrari, are making a last battery change and a driver change. Meanwhile, Phantom Power Racing, I believe, is also making a battery change. The first one out of these pits might get one extra lap advantage on each other. Let's see who gets out first. The first one out is Batmobile, which has been a... Which I don't know if you can tell, but the Batmobile was defeated yesterday by the Joker. I mean, Poison Ivy was there. Bane was there. Let me call it is our first, ladies and gentlemen, our Phantom is out and Catastrophe. And I three Detroit. Those are your top four cars. The top four cars, the first four out. Good pitch, pitch uh, changes make a break the rules. Hats of the Future also now out. Hats of the Future is hoping that they can get back in time and get a couple more laps. Patrick, there is some definite heroics from the I3 Detroit team. Ted, give us some background on what's happening with your car. Uh, we blew our right front, uh, uh, left front tires, so we swapped the left and right, so we have the good one on the outside. We have that right there. There is no spare, so if this one goes, it's game over, is it? No, no, it's never game over. We just ride on the rims, push it, carry it. Riding on the rims, sparking if you need to. That's right. And a ton of cheese back out after the house disintegrated into matter. They're back on the way. And Brandon, absolutely appropriate with another one bites the dust. As we have most of our field stuck in the pits, desperately working to complete more laps against the competitors. I mean, right now, Motosaurus Rex is having back out on track, but he's in fifth place, trying to gain an I3 Detroit. Meanwhile, something's happening with Catastrophe. Trying to get support. They're taking a hood off of Catastrophe to get support from the fans. While Catastrophe is completing more laps and is currently in third place. It looks like Ferrari is trying to bribe the crowd for Monster over there. Where's that Monster boy? Yeah, that's right. The Monster is on the backstretch, but they're bribing the people in the stands. What pain do you have like? Maybe it's something burning. I'm not sure what. Careful there, Patrick. Don't fly too close to the sun, buddy. Meanwhile, a ton of cheating pulls in. And ladies and gentlemen, I believe that Charles Hodge, the Nico Man, is coming back out. Right here. He's, he's using the throttle with one hand all the way down into the car and his 